So, excellent. I'm going to challenge myself to make the most difficult cookie in the world. Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we are in the kitchen. I've been saying that a lot lately because that's some of the only videos that I'm able to do. I can't do any travel videos because of quarantine and all of that. But it's okay because I have a delicious recipe in mind. So I got a question for some of you guys. You guys watched the chocolate pasta recipe and that called for a lot of egg yolks and not really using a lot of egg whites. So did you do what I asked and said keep the egg whites? Because that's what we're gonna be using to, in this recipe. Yes, today we are going to be making les macarons en français. None of you speaks French. That is a French macaron. I have a very good relationship with the French macarons. Well, now I do at least. In sixth grade in the year 2016, I was filming MasterChef Junior season six in the United States of America with Gordon Ramsay. And there was a challenge, if you don't recall, it was a pressure test on making French macarons. And the person that made the best macarons was safe from elimination and would go to the semifinals of season six MasterChef Junior. Whew, man, that was a rough challenge. Um, I didn't go down without a fight though. I got eliminated, yes, in the quarterfinals of MasterChef Junior season six. It still hurts, but you know, we move on. Life goes on. And ever since that day, I've been trying to make French macarons perfectly. Like perfect, 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 perfect. So I'm going to show you guys now how I make French macarons. And I'm going to make them matcha. I look like I've been sleeping all day, so I need to get my apron on. Apron on! Perfect. Okay, so we got all of our ingredients just to make the cookie, just to make the macaron shell. We're gonna make a matcha cookie, and it's gonna be great. I'm excited. Let's go. So we got our almond flour, and we got powdered sugar, cream of tartar, egg whites, granulated sugar, salt, and matcha powder. And these are known to be the most difficult cookies to make in the entire world. All right, so what you need to do, you need to get out 65 grams of almond flour. You need to measure out exactly. Ooh, I'm at 64, I'm at 64. Mm -hmm. Six. I'm at still at 64. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. No, I'm at 66. What? It's okay. Okay, I'm at 65. I'm at 65. I'm at 65. Now measure out 50 grams of powdered sugar, 15 grams of matcha powder. So we have 130 grams of our powder, and we need to make sure that it's as fine as possible. Don't forget to mix up the powders together. Okay, so now we're gonna get our powder and just put it through a sieve. We're going to sift. Make sure it's as fine as possible because that's what you want in French macarons. Then discard the leftover almond bits that are not fine enough to go through the sieve. Now we're gonna put it back in here one more time. Cool, so we got our powder. And then we're gonna work on the meringue. Okay, I got out of my hand mixer, my stand mixer, because now we gotta work on the egg whites. 50 grams of egg whites. Oh, that was perfectly, exactly 50 grams. Gonna put it in here. We get a little bit of salt. Okay, now we need to measure out 45 grams of sugar, granulated sugar or Costa sugar, you can use either one. Whisk attachment. And then, whisk your eggs on top. Then, get one egg teaspoon of cream of tartar. Then, pour your sugar, little at a time. Okay. 
got to see if it's at stiff peaks. And the way to see if it's at stiff peaks is to put the meringue over your head. Okay? And we're gonna, I'm going to try it. If it's not ready, the meringue's going to fall. And then my hair's going to get all messed up. Three, two, one. Ooh! Oh, yeah! This stage is called the... I believe it's called the macaronage. That's what the word is in French. So then we're gonna put in the... We're gonna wanna fold the... The matcha almond powdered sugar mixture in with the egg white. This is one of the most make or break stages while making French macarons because if you do it wrong, then your whole batter is gonna go bad and then you're gonna have to restart. Yes, it's very important that you fold in the macaron, the meringue into the powder very well, but not too much. There's a fine line between perfect and not too much when it comes to macarons. Yes, this batter is almost done. You should be able to do a figure eight in the bowl of the batter. Hold on. It's a couple more times and then I think I'll be good. Yeah, that's good. All right, now we're done with this and then we can start piping it on a tray and we'll be all good. Okay, so now our batter is ready and we're going to start piping. We're gonna get our macaron batter, place it in a piping bag with a piping tip that's about one half to one centimeter big. And then we're going to start piping. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, we got our batter, and then we're gonna pipe. Always put a little bit of macaron batter at the corners, just so the parchment paper doesn't stick. We're going to go nice and steady. Okay, and one of the most important things to do that could make your break your macarons is just bang them on your work surface. So you wanna go up, bam, and do that on the other side. The main reason why we're doing this is just to get all the air bubbles out of the cookie. So we're gonna go, bam. Perfect. Now we're gonna let these rest for 30 minutes and then just to let them dry. And after they dry for 30 minutes, we're gonna put them in the oven for 12 to 14 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so our macarons finished dressing for 30 minutes and we're gonna put them in the oven, put them to bake at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, that's about 150 Celsius for 12 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes, please. Always gotta use those manners. While your macarons are baking, now we can start on the filling. Get some cream cheese and put it in a bowl. You're gonna wanna whip it up, okay? You're gonna wanna get a little bit of powdered sugar. So basically, we're just making a cream cheese frosting. I love cream cheese frosting. Some I honestly prefer it over buttercream. That's just my personal preference, but if you would like to make a buttercream, go for it. You totally can. Then add a little bit of vanilla. Now you're gonna wanna chill your filling in the fridge for about 10 minutes. We have our cream cheese filling. We're going to put it in a, a piping bag. Blurp, blurp. Okay. And now we are ready to fill our macarons. Okay, we have about 10 macarons, 10 full macaron sandwiches that we are going to be filling. That's 20 cookies. But then the way to fill them is to get a cookie. flavored macarons with a vanilla creme filling. And yeah, they look pretty good. And that, my friend, are some matcha vanilla French macarons. Let's give one a try. Okay. 
combination of the matcha with the sweetness of the vanilla creme ties it together just the right amount delicious and the tartness of the cream cheese ties well That macaron, two thumbs up. Very delicious, I have no words. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the video, and um, I feel like I did a pretty good job with my French macarons. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. They have a great flavor, and I love, it's a good combination and good balance from vanilla and matcha. So I'm happy with how they turned out. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Ciao, ciao. So guys, do you see these French macarons? These macarons are staying in their little bubble. That's their home. They are staying home and they're not going anywhere and they're staying healthy and they're protecting themselves. So guys, be like the macarons. Just a quick thing, I just wanna say thank you to all the, all the doctors and nurses who are working their butts off during these times in hospitals and just around the world. Um, thank you, you guys are true heroes trying to work with this virus. It's pretty awesome and um, we, and I can speak of the American people, we appreciate you guys. I'm Evan Estrada and if you like my videos, please like and subscribe to see more of my content. Thank you, stay safe, ciao ciao.